Hey everyone, John here for AZ Concealed Carry. Wanted to do a quick video of an item that I found uh, that works well as an accessory piece for the uh, Ruger 1022 takedown bag. Uh, it's called a paintball pod, and this item is generally used to store paintballs and carried on your person in the equivalent of uh, you know mag pouches uh, for easy reloading of your paintballs while you're uh, out on the field. Uh, a buddy of mine who's heavy into paintballing, I saw these at his house and kind of had a light bulb moment, if you will, and wondered how well this would work uh, along with, you know, in this case, the store store ammunition. Uh, those of you familiar with the 1022 takedown bag, uh, let's open it up, and you'll see that there are, you know, three compartments in here. I'll make sure all of it gets on video. Um, the large compartment on this side is where I have the stock. Okay. This here has two compartments. The smallest of the, or the smaller of the two, can comfortably hold the barrel for the rifle, and the other pocket here is where I've stored a filled paintball pot. Now I was able to put 525 rounds in here, a full box of Federal bulk ammo, along with a couple of silica gel packs to help uh, keep moisture out and so on. Now, I was unsure of the actual size of these pods, that's why I ordered two uh, in the hopes that I can kind of stack one behind the other and be able to fit two in there. But unfortunately, it's just too large or too long to be able to do that. Uh, now, one thing that I did find that you can do alternatively, alternatively uh, if you want to, you know, order two and store two, um, is if you do not have a scope mounted, Okay, what you can do is put the, the barrel into the smallest of the compartments here. Okay, and then you can insert the stock into the secondary compartment here. Okay, and you're still able to close it and you still have plenty of room to be able to zip it around or zip it up. And then that gives you the ability to store two of these paws side by side comfortably. Now you've got a thousand plus rounds in there and you still have additional room here. If you want to uh, store even more ammo. Um, if you have the little 10 round magazines you can throw several of those in there or if you purchase the smaller boxes of ammo like the uh, 300 rounders I think it's 300 or 325 rounds um, you can throw probably one or two of those in there. Uh, in the front pockets in one of them I do have three of the uh, BX25 um, magazines you know so from a bug out perspective you can store quite a bit of ammo in here uh, or if you're just going out uh, to the range or out uh, plinking for the day if you happen to have a 22 pistol you can store that in here with some magazines for it um, empty magazines or loaded even and then you've got you know a thousand, thousand plus rounds in here between the two pods that you can store um, it's, it's a really nice, neat little thing. Um, yeah, I, I'm glad I, I stumbled upon it. Now, I ordered these from um, paintball.com. They were, I believe, a dollar and some change, a dollar ninety or dollar ninety-five, something like that, for each one. And all in all, with shipping, um, it came out to seven or eight bucks. I'll include a link uh, directly to their website. They have them in all different colors and whatnot. Now, I don't think they have them in different sizes. I think the size is pretty universal. It's a standard length uh, and width. Uh, I just think you can get them in different colors. I opted for the clear as it helps me um, have a better perspective on you know how much ammo I have left just at a quick glance if I'm out plinking and, and so on. But yeah, there you have it. Just something I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If, uh, if you have any other ideas or any other you know unique scenarios or, or, or ways of using items not necessarily intended for this purpose you know uh, feel free to send some uh, video responses if you'd like or just comment uh, remember to subscribe and thanks for watching